about today's video on. Let's start the show! Damn good show, show for y'all. Today's video, we are in a new city. It's a small town, it's called Kash. And uh, we wandered around for the past few days. Today I'm gonna show you around. We're gonna hop on the scooter around the corner and take you around the island a little bit. It's kind of like a small village, but yet still like they really developed it. They have like some super nice trees. Probably we're gonna go there in the evening Coffee. to give you a quick room tour. Nice apartment. Best thing is like the open space, the balcony. up with another guy brought a scooter 100 uh, lira let's rock out okay so driving around with a scooter a bit of a stopover actually we gotta say in many ways it's the first impression right now of Kash or at least we're a little bit behind so there's a piece of land that is connecting to the city of Kash and here's just like resorts but also for a big part just nature and in terms of the watercolor and the beaches I think this is so far nice as we have seen in Turkey like she she cannot believe it. it's like ah look at the water Mr. Anderson. Yeah, we don't need the beach, do we? No, no we're, we're gonna just gonna this. take a look and we'll go back. Bisani! Yeah. Bisani! After a good hour drive, it was a little bit slow because I only have a car driver's license and here you cannot get like a decent scooter, only like a 50cc, so 50 kilometers is max. Maybe could have been here in 30 minutes, but it took close to an hour, but the ride, definitely one of the best of all time. Seriously, just driving there, feeling myself. And where we got after one hour driving is an ancient city called Patara, and we had to pay like 30 lira entrance, well, like for the tourism board. Okay, so definitely quite cool. We're standing on like two, three thousand years of history. I just like looked up the articles like 200, 500 before uh, Christ. Walk by. But I think another really cool thing around here is the beach right behind us. It's the biggest beach in Turkey. According to my last Airbnb host, he said it is the longest beach in all of Turkey. So I'm just gonna drive down real quick, check it out, and then also head back because otherwise it's gonna be dark and cold. So it's getting actually quite cold names. And around a 10 minute walk behind it is the beach. It reminds me a lot of Australia. Big, wide, long beaches. We don't see it yet, but let's see. Early morning, feeling good. People have been asking, like, yo, where are you going next? Um, and uh, in some ways, I'm really excited. In some ways, I'm like, you know, already wearing a jacket here, like as of right now, just, you know, throw it on in the morning. But basically, we're gonna be changing the scenery, the weather quite a good bit. We're gonna be going from Turkey to Ukraine. And as what many people don't know, 
uh, is that I have family there and I have not been there in the town that they're living for I think it is close to four years now and when I've been there I, I had like I was living like a completely different life I didn't have this channel and didn't have my other projects everything that I'm doing now was kind of like a dream yeah, it was an idea like back then I had maybe a few videos maybe like 100 subscribers like 16 was the last time I was there visited my grandma who's living there I had my aunt there so I'm gonna be going there with Bianca and actually after that probably she's gonna go back home I think maybe that's gonna be another story for a video uh, of how we yeah of how, of how we met and we have been traveling now more or less on and off every once in a while I've been dipping off for a few weeks into a different country maybe but um yeah happened due to COVID it kind of sounds weird but she got locked out I I was just like, yeah, let's get locked out together. So we were living in Belarus for three months, which is kind of like crazy. After we left, I had like a, some form of revolution or however you want to call it. Um, yeah, she's probably going to go go back home. You know, it's always hard a little bit to share also a little bit the downside, a little bit not the highest moments on YouTube because people are easily like, oh, you're complaining or this and that. And also people might misunderstand it in a way of just like, oh, you feel so bad that you actually feel the need to share it. But, and so also for me, you know, with my travel videos, it's all upbeat, it's all fun. Uh, but also I have like my mindset content on another channel. You can check it out in the description. That's have been also on the low just because yeah, I wanted to totally take some time off. And sometimes you just should head down, figure your things out, don't have to talk about it, don't have to let everybody know that you're taking some time off or whatever, and you're not having the best time, just deal with it yourself and then come back better than ever before. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, also at the same time, especially with my over edited, like uh, one of the, like some of the Turkey videos, some of the Albania videos where I've been like working with some places together, they're like high production qualities and it seems like I'm always having the best time. I'm always on point, always rocking the early mornings, always the 5 a.m. guy. And it just, um, it's just not the reality, you know, most of the time anyway. Editing in front of the computer and uh, as everyone else having my bad days and sometimes my bad weeks, but this is this is the real life out here a real morning life has been an adventure life keeps to be an adventure and like every good movie it has its ups and downs and these I want to share with you because what a hell of a boring movie would that be if it all the time would be just freaking boats and blue waters and amazing new places to travel yeah sounds sexy but that's 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 not the reality of life and um, Okay, so kicking off the morning in the gym right now. Here, best thing whenever they have one in the area, like five minutes from where we live. It's at 35 lira, so like four euro. It's, it's, it's a decent price. A week is actually even more affordable. Nice little room, not too busy. So let's get it going. Full body. Actually, I'm done already. I'm just going let's go. Do it all for the camera again, but. I'm on the workout, definitely having very long workouts twice a week and actually having a lot of fun but at the same time I wanted to say something. Uh, I'm gonna get demonetized for that in the background. I have a new new masterpiece here so we bought this little coffee cooker in Albania and the coffee is so nice and strong and then 
bought some milk, so I'm doing iced coffee right now. And seriously, it's so good. We got like some Colombian cheap coffee from Turkish supermarket. And with some ice and 3% fat milk. So good. Uh, Alright, this one up. Uh, yeah, you can, you can take this one, I guess. Okay. Alrighty, so passing through different city, different time. We're in Antalya, we got some people in the back screaming Russian. There's definitely a lot of Russians here. I would say for now we're gonna head down to the water here real quick. So, definitely has been quite a crazy day. I mean, what is it? It's already the next day right now in Antalya. We're really debating whether or not we should stay in Antalya or maybe go to Cappadocia. We have exactly six days left in Turkey. So you're gonna see that in the next video. That's a big fish. My goodness. This man has a big fish. Delivery. These guys are getting out like some super thick fish outside of their boat. Seriously, it looks a little bit scary, but yet I'm like even feeling their enthusiasm. They're looking quite happy and this fish is humongous that they have there. It's insane, <laughs> seriously. my hand. <laughs> I seriously feel like he can't eat me, you know? And that's like me in there. Good morning, I would say, as per usual, gotta check out the city at an early morning, beating the crowds a little bit, that, that's last night where all the people were walking, we're here back in the port. Today, we thought we would stay in Antalya, maybe for a few days, we didn't really find nice accommodation, so I was like, screw it. There's this one place, people were telling me I should go, I have to go, and I was like, ah, maybe, yeah, it's a little bit far. It's called Cappadocia, maybe you've seen the pictures. I'm Pro not 100% sure yet, but we're looking at a bus, it's leaving at 10 p.m. and it's going for like 8 hours. That's probably what's going to be happening today. So I'm going to take you along. Let's start that out. 